After a weekend of crime, leaders at the Boys and Girls Club in Jackson are talking about the importance of getting young folks involved in positive outlets where they can express their creativity and feel heard. 12 News' Anna Farish joins us live with more on their efforts to keep kids from ending up behind bars. Anna? Melanie, leaders of the Boys and Girls Club say it's heartbreaking every time they hear a story about a young person losing their life to gun violence or even being arrested for making a snap decision. Now, their goal is to show young men and women that they can be a part of something bigger. The Boys and Girls Club community centers are located right in the heart of the capital city. Centrally located where kids can learn life skills, where they can be introduced and exposed to opportunities that they wouldn't be able to get on a normal, on a normal basis. And they're, this is our secret sauce. They're able to build positive relationships with positive adults every single day. Penny Ainsworth has been with the Boys and Girls Club in Jackson for eight years. She says through the mentoring program, they work on empowering kids and encouraging them into a bright future. It's important that young people ages 6 to 18 have something um, creative to do and to belong in. Otherwise, they will figure out other ways, other things to feel that creativity, whether positive or negatively. Our young people can either belong to a positive program where we give them a sense of belonging, or they can belong to a gang or a group of kids that are getting in trouble that's also giving them that same sense of belonging. She says adults have gotten away from investing into young people, but to see change, we have to do more than talk at them. They have to know their voices are being heard. Young people want power and influence. As parents, we can walk our kids into programs like the Boys and Girls Club where we give our young people power and influence on the things that they're doing. We call it needs, wants. They let us know what they want. We tell them what we need, and we meet somewhere in the middle. Or they can get it negatively out on the streets with their friends who also give them power and influence. Ainsworth says the blue doors of the club are always open. All people have to do is walk in. And she tells me that she's in constant contact with the mayor, city council members, JPS superintendent, and other community leaders to kind of help positively influence the younger generation. Melanie Byron, back to you.